I'm Jim from BOE Marine. Today we're going to be installing the Airmar B60 flush mount tilted element through hole transducer. This guy right here. Uh, the tools we're going to need are all laid out on this table. Starting on your left, we have the tape. We use masking tape. Uh, you'll need some sandpaper. You'll need 3M 4200 fast cure sealant. Some people use 5200, we use 4200. These deucers are not uh, perfect, so they, they can fail. It's rare, but they do, or they, it can happen. So you're going to wish you'd use 4200 if that happens. We have a 2 and 3 8 inch hole saw. We have a drill, and this drill has a small drill bit on it for our pilot hole. We'll talk about that later. We have some tools here. These tools are specific to this transducer, and these allow one person to put it in fairly easily. Uh, you don't have to go out and buy these tools. You can alternatively just use a wrench or a big set of uh, channel locks. And then over here we have the transducer. Uh, the transducer comes with these components right here. First is the big nut that's going to go on the inside of the, the bilge to hold the transducer in place. And then you get a big rubber gasket. Again, some people don't use this gasket, but we do. We feel it, it, uh, it helps uh, smooth out the imperfections on the inside of the hull to uh, get a good, a good secure fit. And here is the transducer. These transducers are labeled right here on the top with what degree they are and the direction. There's an arrow here that points towards the keel. A lot of people ask, what does that mean, towards the keel? Does that mean it points in the direction of the keel or does it point towards the keel? The easiest way I've found to explain it is if you had two of these transducers one on each side of the hull, the arrows be pointing at each other. So you want this actually pointing towards the middle of the boat. You don't want it pointing towards the bow of the boat. Um, and then it says the degree of the tilt. This one in our hand here is a 12 degree transducer. The one we're installing on the boat today is actually 20 degree, but it'll be labeled right there on the top. And that's it. So in the next segment, you'll see us uh, preparing to drill the hole and marking the spot where we put this in. And now we'll check out the bilge to find a good spot to drill the hole, to drill the pilot hole. So here we are at the bottom of the boat and lo and behold our pilot hole is in the perfect spot. We actually had it all planned out the whole time. So now that we have our pilot hole, next thing is to use that hole as a guide to start our 2 and 3 8 inch hole to mount the transducer. Now we've placed tape over the hole so that as we make the hole with the hole saw, it doesn't uh, chip the fiberglass. Now we'll start making the 2 and 3 8 inch hole for the Airmar B60 transducer. You need to pay careful attention to keep the drill perfectly perpendicular to the surface you're drilling into. If it gets crooked at all, it makes the hole a little bit oblong and then the transducer doesn't always fit in exactly. pick a location on the bottom of your boat that has no obstructions in front of where you plan on mounting the transducer. Any obstruction will cause turbulence in the water and that's going to affect the signal and make the transducer not work well at higher speeds. So the spot we've chosen you can see has absolutely nothing in front of the boat and it's mounted right here. Right here where the dead rise is about 20 degrees in this boat so we've chosen the 20 degree transducer uh, so that the angle shoots straight down and not at a side, not at an angle like this. Since it's a 20 degree transducer, all the guts of the transducer are angled so it shoots straight down. This next step is to prepare the surface to remove uh, any uh, wax or anything to help the sealant adhere better. So we're going to clean it off with some solvent and then we're going to 
sand the edge a little bit to smooth out the hole we just made and, and get it ready for the sealant. Okay, now we're done sanding and this hole's ready to go. So the next step is to trial fit the transducer and then we're going to mask it off with tape and get ready to mount it. Airmar says not to use any acetone or solvents on the bottom of these transducers. So what that means is if you get sealant on here, like 4200, how are you going to get it off? So what we do when we mount these is we'll take some of this blue masking tape and we'll put pieces right across here and across the fiberglass around the boat and then we'll cut the transducer or the, the tape so it actually falls out. In the next segment we'll show you how we do that. Vance is in charge of masking tape around here and he's uh, now masking off the transducer. So you can see the transducer is actually already mounted in the hull. We just have it dry fit in there and we're going to put masking tape all the way around it and around the surrounding fiberglass. Next we're going to take a razor blade and we're going to cut a little uh, slice right around the perimeter of the transducer and then you'll see the transducer fall out and what will be left is a perfectly masked off transducer and the hull is going to be perfectly masked off too so that uh, the step after that is just going to be to put sealant on there and uh, the big retaining nut on the back side and we'll be good to go. Um, so now he's going to make a nice even slice all the way around the perimeter of the transducer. Vance gets a little bit nervous on camera, so bear with him. Now we can uh, mash down all that masking tape around the edge and now we're ready for sealant.